A record number of arrests connected to our Edward R. Murrow award-winning series, Forgotten Families. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has more from Newark. Why didn't you fix these homes? Well, we asked landlords Sean Young and Sean Ridgway in 2019 how they could let tenants live in deplorable conditions in East Orange. Apparently, 10 more people were getting away with it, too, according to the Essex County prosecutor. Theodore Stevens says the scheme was led by Darnell Alford, who is at large, as well as Travis Glover and Albert Johnson of New Jersey and Christina Barnett of the Bronx. An 81 count indictment alleges the group conspired to purchase seven homes in Newark, East Orange, and Irvington. They, too, filled them with tenants from Soda, the special one-time assistance program where New York City pays one year's rent up front to house working homeless families. They were dilapidated. They all needed repair. It was um, always a promise that some of the money that would uh, come out of the closing proceeds would be wound back into the home. But like the forgotten families we've covered, the repairs were never made for seven relocated New York City households, and they weren't the only victims. These unscrupulous individuals were able to entice people who probably would not ordinarily been, a, been able to buy a home uh, with their assistance. They lent the money and they got into the home ownership uh, market. Some young professionals were told the investment would pay off their student loans through multiple companies like Glovers, ironically named Integrity First. They marketed to first-time home buyers. The website says it offers attractive returns with much lower initial financial investment or credit only. Stevens says unassuming buyers never saw the properties and never sought legal counsel. The prosecutor says suspects not only defrauded homeowners, but also the banks. Loan applications were allegedly manipulated. 2016 online records show this home in Newark sold for almost double, $320,000 in 2016. Another in East Orange, worth around $150,000, sold for almost $75,000 more. In all, the suspects allegedly obtained over $1.8 million by deceiving mortgage lenders. The homes fell into foreclosure. New York City's Department of Homeless Services says it's closely monitoring the criminal case and and we'll explore legal options to recover money. Mark Peters is CBS 2's urban affairs expert. The question raises is if the city had done a better job of monitoring the program, is it possible that someone at the city would have noticed some of these irregularities sooner and this uh, racketeering enterprise might have been broken up sooner? It's since modified paperwork and shifted to paying landlords monthly, but that's little comfort to those who were promised a new life here only to be worse off than they were before. In Newark, New Jersey, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Lisa tried calling and emailing the defendants and their attorneys, but no one got back to her. Separately, the city of Newark is still suing New York City over the SOTA program.